let's take one example on initial conditions the switch k is changed from position a to b at t equal to 0 the steady state is reached at position a find i di by dt d square i by dt square at t equal to 0 plus assume that the capacitor is initially uncharged so this is the given circuit here we can observe that the switch k is it is given in the problem that the steady state is reached at position a it means that when the switch k is connected to a the switch is connected to a it has reached a steady state we know that in a steady state let us see the behavior of the components in a steady state register acts same inductor acts like short circuit and capacitor acts like open circuit so first we'll draw the same circuit how it behaves at t equal to when t is steady state means at t equal to infinity we can say that is when switch is connected to a at steady state inductor acts like short circuit capacitor acts like open circuit we must know these two conditions now i'll draw the same circuit considering switch is connected to a and circuit is in steady state hundred volt is connected as it is now this is my a and the register is connected here that is thousand ohm now this inductor acts like short circuit i have shorted here and here there is a capacitor which is open now open circuit this is b so now the current is flowing in the circuit because of voltage source the current flows in the circuit i so no current flows here because this is open so this is like a single loop now we'll find current in this loop that is i is equal to v by r v is nothing but 100 register value is 1000 so here now i can when switch is connected to position a the current in the circuit is i of 0 minus therefore now i can say i of 0 minus is equal to 0 0.1 amps this is current through the inductor before closing the switch that is i of 0 minus and we can say that i of 0 plus is equal to i of 0 minus which is equal to 0 0.1 amps so we found i of 0 plus that is inductor has an initial current of 0 0.1 amps now let's find its first and second derivative of current at t equal to 0 the switch will change its position from a to b so when the switch changes position from a to b this 100 volt will become open so no current flows here it becomes open so there exists only one loop that is this loop after switching switch k from a to b now i'll redraw the circuit considering the switch is connected to point b at t equal to zero 
switch is connected to position B. So after immediately t equal to 0, the next moment is t is equal to 0 plus. So it is like the circuit at t equal to 0 plus. I will draw the circuit at t equal to 0 plus. t equal to 0 plus circuit shown below. This is register that is R is equal to 1000 ohm. There is an inductor L is equal to 1 Henry and this is the switch. This is position B where switch is connected over here. This is a capacitor. Its value is 0 0.1 microfarad. Let's see that current I of T is flowing in the circuit. The first thing is we will apply KVL to this circuit as it is considering all the elements. There is no any voltage source here. I can write it as 0 is equal to voltage across register is R I of T plus voltage across inductor is L D I of T by D T plus voltage across capacitor is 1 over C integration of I of T into D T. I will call it as equation number 1. When the switch is changed at t equal to 0, the very next moment is t equal to 0 plus. Now we will see, we will re rewrite this equation considering t equal to 0 plus. Therefore, at t equal to 0 plus, equation 1 can be written as 0 equal to r i of 0 plus plus l d i of 0 plus by d t plus 1 over C integration of I of 0 plus into DT. So already we have found the value of I of 0 plus. I of 0 plus is nothing but I of 0 minus which was 0 0.1 amp. And it is said in the problem that capacitor is initially uncharged. It means that Vc of 0 minus is equal to 0. Therefore, Vc of 0 plus is equal to Vc of 0 minus. Therefore, Vc of 0 plus is 0. It means this term is Vc of 0 plus. So, this term will become 0. Therefore, I will rewrite this equation. 0 equal to R is register value that is 1000 into I of 0 plus is 0 0.1 plus L. L value is 1 into d i of 0 plus by d t plus this is nothing but voltage across capacitor that is v c of 0 plus i will write here v c of 0 plus so v c of 0 plus is 0 therefore i can write d i of 0 plus by d t is equal to 1000 into 0.1 that is minus 100 amperes per second so this is the required value now let's find second derivative of the current now look at the equation number one so here first derivative of current is available if i differentiate this equation definitely i'll get second derivative of this current that's why we'll differentiate differentiate equation 1 that is 0 is equal to r di of t by dt plus l d square i of t by dt square plus integration differentiation will get cancelled it is i of t by c i will call it as equation number 2 
now i'll rewrite equation number 2 considering t equal to 0 plus so i can write 0 is equal to r di of 0 plus by dt plus l d square i of 0 plus by dt square plus t is nothing but i of 0 plus by c now we will substitute the values I will continue here so it is 0 is equal to r value is 1000 into di of 0 plus by dt is nothing but minus 100 minus 100 plus l value is 1 into we need to find d square i of 0 plus by dt square plus i of 0 divided by c i of 0 value is 0 0.1 0 0.1 by c c value is 0 0.1 micro so now simplifying this 0 is equal to So here I can write 1000 into 100 that is minus 1 5 zeros plus d square i of 0 plus by dt square plus here point 0.1 point 0.1 will get cancelled 1 upon 10 raised to minus 6 is nothing but numerator we can take it as 10 raised to 6. So simplifying this I can write d square i of 0 plus by dt square is equal to minus I can write it as therefore d square i of 0 plus by dt square is equal to minus 9 into 1 10 raised to 5 amperes per second square so this is the required value so this is d square i by di of 0 plus by dt that is minus 100 amperes per second and this is d square i of 0 plus by dt square that is minus 9 into 10 raised to 5 amperes per second and i of 0 plus is 0 0.1 amps thank you